Athens, Georgia, woke up early, flew into Atlanta. Drove to Athens, just did sound check. Next thing you know, it's 7 p.m. at night and gonna get checked in. Welcome to my pre-show layer of DJ prepping time. Gonna get a quick lift in. Quick bite to eat, then head to the venue for tonight's show. Trying to come up with an uh, Instagram caption for a post on the way to a show is just not the easiest thing. First show of the tour tonight, UGA Athens, Georgia. It's 2.36 in the morning, have been up for a while. Just finished up the first show of the tour. Was a lot of fun, really good vibes. I think that there were like a handful of peak moments that were super, super high energy. And um, overall, thought it was a great show. Um, I tried some transitions that I didn't plan on doing that worked really well. And then some of the things that I planned on doing didn't necessarily work the way I wanted to for this particular crowd, but I'm confident that it can work. Um, and yeah, great, great first show of the tour. We've got like a four hour drive to Tuscaloosa in the morning. So we're going to try to get a little bit of rest, probably, you know, six, seven hours if we're lucky and do it again. But I feel pretty good about the show. We just got to Alabama. Stop to get some Waffle House, get some food. We just went through some of the heaviest rain I've ever driven through in my life. Right now it kind of died down, but you can tell it's still pretty heavy rain. And I guess, uh, you know, there's an uproar with the weather gods about Nick Saban retiring. And tonight we're going to celebrate at Glutz. made it to Tuscaloosa, getting an arm lift right now, gonna sound check in an hour and a half. And uh, Josh finished up his workout a little bit ago and uh, I forgot to do a video um, or have him film a video before I went up. So just kind of wanted to document how I feel in this moment right now second show of the tour while working out right now and uh while in the car here was really cool to get a lot of like inbound messages and emails about shows um you know people wanting to book rose drive for later this year and uh feels really good that the hard work's paying off a lot of dj content coming been putting in a lot of time on the decks and something i haven't talked about in a long time is new music New music coming very, very soon. And actually by the time this video is out, we might have new music out already, but lots of music coming this year. Stoked, let's go. Just this time.
favorite thing about this weekend wasn't necessarily anything that happened at the shows. It was just more of everything coming together where it was really cool getting messages from people that have seen me play fraternity shows at these schools saying, hey, saw your tour announcement. I'm coming out to see you here, coming out there. People that I haven't seen in a couple of years coming out to the show last night at Galette's. And honestly, really cool feeling uh, like Josh and I were laughing about it where people are texting me, DMing me, emails coming in while we're at these shows or at Soundcheck or on the way to these shows for mm -hmm. more shows for later this year. Right. So it's just like a really cool feeling. So I think it's just the it, overall momentum of the brand and just the feeling of what's happening now and what's coming for me is the best feeling. Georgia, Alabama, done. Up next, we have KU, Lawrence, Kansas, Mizzou, Columbia, Missouri. Never played in Missouri before, headed there for the first time. And Kilroy's, Bloomington, Indiana at Indiana University. I've heard great things about this venue. Really pumped to get out there. So stay tuned for next week's episode. I was thinking about Nick earlier, but Nick, who we met at Soundcheck last night at Galette's, you really said some stuff that motivated me about how my brand is impacting you and that was cool, so I appreciate it.